Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. In our little tutorial tips and tricks series, we're, we're going over steam engines this time. Uh, this is your fairly standard ratio, being one uh, pump on the far right, 20 boilers right beside it, with 40 steam engines fed by yellow belt. Uh, this, when fully running, and you can see right at the moment, it's doing nothing because it's only powering one inserter. With good old creative mode, we can put this here, which will fire the system up and pull off as much power as it possibly can. And put it puts out 35 megawatts, and we eat 35 megawatts out of the system. The problem is, if we put down an active energy void, this guy actually chews as much power as there is, and then some. Um, this guy will suck the system dry. actually puts the whole system into a negative rate. So, this system works. It, it, it's as much as we can pump out. But as soon as you have laser towers or anything like that running, um, and, and factories turning on and off, you'll find power fluctuates up and down. And you might have, on average, 35 megawatts, but at peak it might be 40, at low it might be 20. Um, you need a better system. All right. uh, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to purge this belt uh, and explain a couple of parts of this which of course all the smokes in the way so first off the system is fed by burner inserters and actually we'll disconnect that entirely and then we'll purge the system come on run out of steam power yep our boilers are slowly running out of power running out of steam the system's breaking down, almost dead, getting there. We're chewing up the last bit of steam in each of our steam engines. Now, each of these are separate. Nothing can get steam out of another engine, which means it powers down stage by stage by stage because they're all on. This boiler is only hooked up with steam to this engine and this engine. Nothing is shared. All right. So... When your coal run, line runs out, um, everything dies. Now, I'm using burner inserters. The main reason I'm using burner inserters is when I get the coal back up and running, these guys will pick up any burnable and start refeeding in the system. And as you can see, power will start kicking back up as each pair of... Um, pair of boilers turns back on. Get out of my way. Let's scroll down. So we're watching these fire up bit by bit by bit. You've got no steam, you've got no steam, you've got no steam, you've got no steam, but that's fine. That's how the system's meant to run. It all should run with zero steam in there if we're pulling out all the power, which we are. We are pulling out as much power as we can. And the system will stabilize. It will take a while, but it will stabilize at 35 megawatts. Uh, um, this, this lovely active energy void pulls everything out of the system that it could possibly produce. But that is a full yellow belt of coal being eaten. It doesn't look like it, but trust me, um, the way the ratio works out, we basically use a whole yellow belt's worth. Now, as you saw, it powered down slowly and powered back up very, very slowly as well, jagged back up. Now, I upgrade to another system which is this one. Which is a very, very similar build, except on the back of it, I add storage tanks to put steam in with an extra six steam engines. As you can see, this one starts off the same. We're, we're producing, you know, we're producing no power and we're using no power because the poor little inserter was all we're powering. But when I put down the passive void, it'll fire up every engine as fast as I can. And we're actually producing 46 megawatts. We can't produce 46 megawatts worth of steam to then convert into power, but we have these lovely steam tanks. And you can see this, these last ones are slowly draining out. Now, this gives me a buffer zone to run all my steam engines. And we'll actually swap you out for an active and pull everything we can from the system. Still 46 megawatts, because that's how many steam engines I've put down. And we'll slowly drain the steam out of each one of these tanks. Now, each one of these tanks holds 25,000 steam. 
A steam engine uses 30 steam per second. Uh, quick math says 1.8k worth of steam per minute. And we've got an extra 12 of them. So we're going to use about a tank per minute. A little bit under. Okay. So 10 tanks. 10 tanks. We've got 20 minutes worth of backup buffer power here. It also means if you were to accidentally run out of coal on the system. Uh, accidental. It happens. It happens. Um, this... Mm, let's start with this boiler. Oh. Yeah, this boiler. Uh, it runs out of steam. This steam pipe will slowly run out of steam. But it means each one of these engines... There we go. We're out. This pipe will slowly get drained. So on and so forth down the, down the line. But it means each, every single steam engine can pull off all these tanks because it's all joined on one giant pipe, uh, pipe network. Uh, best part about this blueprint, uh, or the way this is built, is it literally tiles, apart from my energy voids, uh, it tiles, it, it can be built straight over the, the existing one. And a power pole, it's in the way, of course. Of course, there's always something when you go doing this stuff. Drop straight over the existing one. Put back my power void. And oh, what was that? Active. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll leave that one to run for a minute. Because they, we're slowly dra draining these tanks. So this is how, in a lot of my bases, I put a backup power. Um, I've got a little bit of coal. Yeah, last bit of coal has been burnt off now. And boom, system is empty. It's running fine. It's running fine off our backup. Just think of them as batteries. They're, they're giant steam batteries. Uh, this one's firing up. It will hover all over the place. Uh, it will bounce between about 35 and 40. Um, long story short, 35 is what you can count on. Uh, it, it will eventually hover at around about 35, 35 and a half. Um, just because of how correct, yeah, how perfect the ratio is. And it's slowly dropping down. These engines are running less and less and less because there's less spare steam in the pipe. Uh, this one's still going. Still going, still happy, still pumping out 46 megawatts. Um, by all means, you can oh, you can put extra steam engines on here and have a, you know, empty your battery quicker. But here we are. Yeah, we've, we've still got five, ten minutes worth of backup power in this system, ready to go. Um, works great when you get lasers up and running. Uh, works great when you get... Um, when, when you're on that, that limit of how much power you can pull. Um, also works great when you accidentally forget to feed the machines with coal because the coal belt runs dry. Um, now, the only limit with these steam engines is because they're being fed by burner inserters, it has to be a yellow belt. Um, by all means, bring a red belt in and make sure it stops just before the burner inserter or even do one better. If you're going to be really, you know, you don't have a lot of yellow belt because you're all upgrading all of it, just make sure where they're picking from is yellow belt. That's yellow, that's red, that's red. Yeah, that's yellow, that's red. And they can pick up perfectly fine from that. So... That's my little battery backup system. It works wonders. Um, these guys will... Actually, not with me pulling out all the power. Um, but as soon as I... Take away the load... Right, these steam tanks... Will start filling back up again. So, that's my little tip. My little t tutorial. My little little whatever. Um, just to make your factory experience just a little bit better. So, thanks for watching as always. Um, when the end screen comes up, you'll find the subscribe button on the left, along with the playlist on the right, and some recommended video given to you guys by the lovely YouTube bots. Thanks for watching. Bye!